Anyway, if you're on, say hello so I know who's here. Um, all I'm going to do is do a basic way, um, that, just a basic um, way of uh, working out how much to put in your basket. So when you're making an espresso, you might not have one of these machines yet, or you might be thinking about it. But um, yeah, it's a pretty basic thing is to work out what actually, how much coffee to put in here. And um, yeah, how much you, how much liquid you need to get out of it at the same time. Oh yeah, got one person said, oh, that's my wife. <laughs> She's directing the cameras behind us. So there's what the Facebook cameras over here and the Instagram cameras over here. So we're a little bit tight for space in this little uh, house. Um, right down there. So yeah. Um, but anyway, so the whole idea of this is just trying to get a little bit of an understanding across on how how much liquid you should be getting out and the time and all that kind of stuff. It sounds, it sounds pretty easy, but every coffee I make seems to be different every time I make it because um, I might make one in the morning and I might not get home until after work and there might be a little bit of coffee left in the grinder here. So that'll be a little bit dry and yeah, so it's just, it's always, I, I make every coffee uh, with scales scales like this here. Um, I weigh the coffee that goes in here and then I weigh how much espresso comes out of here. So um, yeah, anyway, so get started. All I do is, um, oh, actually, before we get going, hit the share button as well. Share it to all your friends and uh, that'll help me out as, a lot as well. But first off, all we do is we'll weigh the scales. I'll put this down here a bit so you can see what's actually going on. So we've got the scales here, zero it off. I've also got this thing here that helps keep all the coffee in there. Zero that off. And all I do is push, push the button. But to work out how much coffee actually fits in here, it's all um, trial and error. Once you know how much coffee you can fit in here, um, you're off to a pretty good start. So I know there's a few machines, like the Breville's, I'm pretty sure, I haven't got around as many of those as I'd like to because of these restrictions, but my plan going forward is to, um, to get out to people's houses and get on the real ma machines that people are using and show how best to get your coffee out of those. Um, so the way you work out how much coffee uh, you need in here is you pretty much, you, you'll get a guide from, from whoever you get it from that how much fits in here. So you just start with that. Um, but I like to get as much in here as I, as, as I can. Not you don't want it to be too tight that it hit, when you put the, anyway, I'll show you. So I've got the, it's like a distributor. It just goes in there. It's like one of these things here. Um, it just evens it all out. So give it a bit of a tap and then just put this in, spin it around. If you don't have this one, it doesn't matter. See how it's nice and flat there now? Nice and flat and even. And that also helps to get the, get the tamp down um, nice and straight. So when I push that down into there, you can see it's even all the way around. You can't, it's pretty foolproof. These are just little gadget. You don't have to have this stuff. This, this just helps you with consistency because coffee is all about consistency. So that's that. Now after you, after you tamp that down, you should be able to turn it upside down and nothing should fall out. And you'll see there's like, there's like a rim here. And that's basically where your coffee should go to. Rim, just there. And when you put this into your machine, when you put this into your machine here, it shouldn't, this coffee here shouldn't hit on the, on, on the shower screen under here. 
If it hits on the shower screen under there, you've got too much coffee in there. So next time, just take it, take a gram back. I didn't actually weigh that in there before, but I'm, I'm aiming for 23, degree, uh, 20, 23 grams in here. 23 grams is what I like to use, and it, it, gets, it pretty much gets what I, what I like out of the uh, winter warming blend. So anyway, you put this in here, and if that there touches the shower screen or you take that apart, and there's no water on there, you're good. But if it hits, if there's, if you take that out and you take it off and you're missing a bit of your coffee, you've got too much in there, so you need to take some out. Anyway, so we put that in there. So the next step is what we're aiming for is you gotta work out how much coffee you gotta extract. And the good extra extraction rate is on average 1.7 and I, I find that's really good for the uh, winter warming blend which is this one here um, so 1.7 so what do I mean by that 1.7 well so if you get if you fit 23 grams in here you'll end up with um, so you go 23 times 1.7 equals 39.1 so you're aiming to get 39 grams of uh, espresso out of this. So if your machine takes 12 grams, 12 grams of espresso, so 12 times 1.7 is 20 grams. So your, your aim is to get 20 grams out into your cup. So that's your espresso. Um, 20 grams, about that much. I like 40 grams, bit double shot. Tastes better, I like, like to be uh, woken up properly. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, how much we need, what we're aiming for. Because, and there's also, from there you need your timer. So on these scales here you've got your weight and then you'll have a timer. I've, I've actually put this timer into this um, Timer into this um, espresso machine myself because I like to have a timer. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll make one now. So this is this is a double shot. We've got 23 grams, which is which we're aiming for about 40 grams of espresso. So let's see how we go with the time. So um, what we're aiming for here is 40 grams of espresso of espresso here in 25 seconds. 25 seconds is what I find is the best for this for this coffee. If you want a sweeter shot, like a little bit sweeter, moldier kind of flavor, you just stretch that 25 out to 30, but what would, the general range is 25 to 30 seconds on um, your shot. So this, t this time of here takes a second or so to get going, but Anyway, we'll turn this on and let's see how close we are. I'm going to do this again anyway, so I didn't really do it properly that first time because I was too busy talking. <laughs> um, so we've got that, we've got that. That's at zero. Everything's at zero, so let's go. So it normally takes about five seconds for it to actually come through. Coming through all right, we've got, we've got 14 seconds, 14, 14 grams, we've got 20 grams now, we've got 17 seconds. So we've got 30, 32, so I've got to stop at about 38. I should get 40. Look at that. But all the machines are going to be different. So we've gotten 25 seconds, what I was aiming for, which is, so I've made a few coffees today already, so I've got it pretty well going, it's day off work. <laughs> But um, that's what we that's what we're left with there is a nice creamy espresso. That's a double espresso. That's that one there. Always see because of how bright it is outside. But so that's 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 a double shot. And then I'll just bang my coffee through. Here, I'll show you 
one here. I'll make a coffee. The milk, I I like to have a decent kind of milk, so I I really like this is what I can get a, get in the supermarkets around here, and I, I think it tastes pretty good. Um, which is that one, Camperdown Dairy, the Jersey, the Jersey milk, and also that one there is pretty available uh, around Victoria as well. Which is the Jersey milk from Suncold. They're both from down the southwest, which is. Uh, the proper part of the Victoria, <laughs> if you ask me. So, anyway, I'll make a quick latte. So, what we're doing with the latte here is we're going to fill it up. And the biggest problem I find with the the Breville's and all those household machines is they give you this thump and big jug, which is the size of my smash bin here. <laughs> but you only need a small jug because if you're trying to heat up too much milk with a small machine, just you're losing all your energy and you're, um, you know, you're not doing yourself any favours. So let's put some milk in there, and we're just filling up to the bottom of the spout there, which is right there. That's perfect for uh, for what I've got here, a two an eight ounce um, thing. So then when we're when we're doing the milk, we want to get the the nozzle. If you look at the nozzle there, it's 12, like that's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So this is where I do it, but you can do it many different ways. But I go put the spout in here at 12 o'clock, and I'm aiming, you, you imagine, imagine there's a centre, and I just kick it towards, uh, let me think, 9, 10, about 10 o'clock, and just off centre. That's that's what I that's what I'm aiming for. And all you want, you should hopefully you can hear what what's going on here. But all we want is to tip just below the milk. I'll do a special milk video there one day. Listen to how it's sucking air in. If you want the air in there for a start, and we want to dip the nozzle down, I'll just let it stay where it is because the foam's coming up. Now we're just warming the milk. In temperature, you just go until your hand gets too hot for your hand, and then you work out what your temperature is. Give it a smash on the bench, clean the nozzle, espresso spoon. But I'll do my best, see what I can do. Two cameras watching here. Love heart's always fairly easy, but that's that's a love heart. Oh, you probably can't really see it that well, but Instagram. That's my version of a love heart. Does get a bit better than that, but probably a little bit stage fright. There's a love heart there. You probably can't really see it that well, but yeah, that tastes pretty good. It's good, real good. So anyway, let's go go through it again. Clean clean this out. Smash it away. I always just give it a rinse, but you can just give it a wash. I'm just being fussy. Don't know why. I'm not really fussy with other things. Right, that's loads of coffee. I love it. So clean you clean clean it out. Don't want any dirty old coffee in there because that's just going to give you a dirty old taste. And then weigh it. Weigh it in here. Put the, I've got a funnel, they call it a coffee funnel. So we'll zero that. Push this here. We're aiming for 30. Oh, sorry, 23. 23 here. We've got 23.2, happy with that. Then all I do is give it a give it a bump. Evens it all out, take the ring off. I'll, I'll end up getting these available on my website. I'm just taking a little steps at a time at the moment. Um, and then use the 
use the uh, distributor and spin that around just in the bottom of your screen there Instagram push it down nice and firm flip it upside down means you're doing a good job still in there magic and then make sure you clean jam it on there and obviously if you haven't don't really know your weight make sure that you're not hitting on the shower screen in there put that in and then i'll use this one over here good scale these ones um, and basically cup under zero what are we aiming for? We're aiming for 25 seconds, that's what I like. Can we do 30? Can I have a sweet one? 30? Alright, Julia wants 30. So, if we wanted to get that 30 and the, and the same... So, yeah, okay. So, so if we want to get to 30, we're going to have to adjust... Like, if say you don't like the 25, it's like I want a little bit sweeter, so... You adjust your grinder. You you adjust your, your grinder, and um, you want to go because you want to slow the flow down. You need to make your grind finer. Like it doesn't take much. Just adjust it a little bit, and then just see how it goes over the next few brews. But so if we want to go to thirty, we really need to adjust the grind. But let's let's see what happens. I probably. I should have adjusted a little bit, but anyway, let's let's do this. So, from when you pull the lever and push the button, or whatever you do, that's when the time starts. All right. So zero zero. Let's go. So aim for thirty seconds for the lovely wife. Look at that, nice and creamy. Instagram. I can't move Facebook, but look at that, nice and creamy shot there. Um, 21. Yeah, we're going to struggle to push it out. We give her a bigger shot, I suppose, but that's that would have been stopped there now. And that was 28 seconds. So, yeah, you, to, before you kind of start brewing your coffee, you need to know what you kind of after. So, if I was after 30, I, I could have just put a little bit more grams in there instead of putting 23 in there I could have put 24 in there and that would have slowed it down but you got to know what your limits are without hitting your shower screen so that's that's that one Instagram's had a good look at that already but it's nice and creamy got a um where's it came on that one yeah so it's got this, this one here has got a Papua New Guinea, a Brazil, and a, um, uh, what's it called, Costa Rican. Uh, Brazil's a chocolatey nuts, a bit of punch. Uh, the Costa Rican's fruity, it brings back, brings out a little bit of fruit. And the Papua New Guinea is, um, yeah, chocolate, apricot, fruit, good, good, good base. Uh, I'll think about, I love about the PNG. I don't know if it's just so close to Australia and it's extra fresh, but open up the bag before you roast it and scooping out the beans is like, just smells, smells like apricots to be honest. But anyway, that's it. So, is there any questions? Anybody got any questions about any of it? Because I, I can do it again if you want. Do you want me to try and do a 30 second one? 30, 30 second shot, we've been going 20 minutes, it's probably um, getting a bit monotonous, but um, scales are available on the website, I haven't put them up yet, I only got them uh, a couple of days ago, um, they'll be they'll be $100, They're, you can preset them, you can use them for filtered coffee, we've got a few different, four different settings that, yeah, they're called a coffee scale, so that's what they're made for. Um, yeah, anything else? Any questions? 
There's someone from Finley. Oh, I've got Vera. Vera's on. Vera's a lovely person that um, designed this. This cockatoo picture here. Um, done an amazing job. So thanks, Vera. Vera. Um, yeah, she was a nanny of ours for a while, and we needed to get that to help. Anyway, so I'll do one more. One more quick shot. In the smash bin. Clean it out. Make sure she's nice and clean. And then we'll go for a 30 second shot here. So let's... I didn't wait, but... I should have. <laughs> Alright, let's wait it out. So I'm going to go for a 30 second shot here. 23, I normally put in there, I'll put 24. Going to waste. All right, zero it again. Try it again. So I'm going for 24 grams in here. Try and stretch the shot out. 22.8, a little bit more. Another couple. That's far too much. Yeah, it's pretty close. Twenty-three point nine. Give it a tap. Use your distributor. They need it. Push it down. That. Flip her upside down. And come out, it's all good. Let's see if we hit the shower screen. That extra green. Yep, touch it a little bit. Doesn't make a diff doesn't make much to change things a little bit, but we'll see how we go. Oh, We're for 30 seconds. Let's make it a little bit sweeter. You can see how it's coming out a lot slower. It's a lot more sticky. It's a pretty sticky brew, this one, anyway. That's Instagram there, Facebook. There's Facebook. <laughs> so we're going at 16 seconds so far. 25 grams. We're going to, yeah, this is going to stretch out a fair bit. We got 28. We've got 40 grams there in 20 seconds. So that'll just taste a bit sweeter. That's the that's a shot there. That's a double shot, yeah. So I forget what. Does anyone know how many grams goes into the Brazil? Ah, uh, sorry, into the Revels. Um, but as soon as this COVID starts. Um, gotten itself under control. I'll be getting out into some houses and doing some demos on those machines. So if you've got a machine that you want me to do a demo on, give us a yell and I'll be there. Have a few coffees instead of beers. See how times have changed. <laughs> oh, do you want me to... Uh, almond milk's a little bit different to froth. So I might as well give a little bit of a quick demo on that while I'm here all the almond milk drinkers, but same amount in, just below that nozzle, just to that nozzle there, that's all you need for a eight ounce drink. And then what I do for almond milk is just grab a teaspoon of the, your shot, drop it in there. I don't know, it just helps it um, rough up better, I feel. Bring it in. Always purge your water out first. See how it's sucking. And 
don't want it to suck anymore because we've got enough air in there. Almond milk is a lot harder to steam. We'll still have it really nice, but give it a smash on the bench. I think this was the fresher one. And that just putting that bit of uh, espresso in there settles everything down and stops it foaming up too much. See so how we go with the almond milk. No, it's a bit bubbly, but. Oh, nearly put it on the floor. But there we go. There's an almond milk latte. It's a little bit darker. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Facebook, there you go. So I don't know, that's about it. Any questions? Haven't been any questions yet? Oh, there's there's a coffee for the wife. It's done such a good job on the video. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's about it. That's all I've got for you. But if you did want to think about getting some scales, I mean, if you want to get the most out of your coffee, you need, you need to have scales. Otherwise, you're kind of just guessing what's happening. Scales will help you get it all consistent and make the same. If you find a good brew, you just make the same one every time. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else. Oh, has any has anybody else anybody got any ideas what they want us want me to demonstrate on the coffee like um, stove tops or filter coffee or um, froth in the milk? We can do a froth in the milk one. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you want to learn or anything about coffee, reach out to me because I'll, I'll, I'll like to help. Because um, I think if you're going to drink coffee, you might as well drink a good coffee instead of um, just settling for rubbish. <laughs> There's plenty of that out there. But um, yeah, uh, so pretty much at the moment, it's just got the winter blend. It's pretty popular, it's been selling hot cakes, been kept me pretty busy, which is good. Um, I am, this this winter warming blend will change a little bit because one of the, the Brazils in it has, um, it's, it's run out of supply, so I've got a fresh one going into it, which will, it's a natural, so it might taste a little bit more, I'm thinking a little bit more kind of, Fruity you might have a little bit more punch as well because it's, it's a natural. The, the last one in it was a washed, which is uh, basically they wash it. The naturals of they ferment, they they uh, do it all with the skin on. So it's, it'll taste a little bit different, but it's a whole whole thing of it. I try to get the coffees fresh, and that's what happens. You run out of stuff, so I'm learning all about what the, all the coffees taste like at the same time. So anyway. Doesn't look like there's any questions, so thanks for jumping on, and yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks for jumping on, over and out, and uh, hopefully we can all get about a bit more in, in Melbourne here. We're kind of been stuck in the one spot 5k zone, so we know we know where our five zone, 5k radius is. Is <laughs> um, kind of get sick of going on the same playground so we've discovered a few new playgrounds with the kids which has been good but yeah hopefully we can all uh start mingling again all right over and out thank you